Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is the first episode of Season 2. In the last episode, we had an awesome race out in the desert that allowed us to move up in the constructor standing. So today, we are going to have a bunch of money pour into the team. And today, we've got to start it off forming the way our team is going to be for Season 2 by signing a new driver. As good as Mick Schumacher was last season, he was just a little bit on the slow side, if I'm honest. So today, we are gonna be saying goodbye to Mick Schumacher and hello to hopefully somebody a little bit quicker. In the last episode though, I was asking you guys who I should be looking at signing and I got a lot of comments from you guys and I think we aren't gonna listen to you guys. A bunch of you guys were saying that I should look at signing Mr. Lando Norris. However, Lando Norris doesn't really have that much experience. Even with our facilities, he would still struggle quite a bit. However, his teammate, Carlos Sainz, Although maybe he doesn't have the same race craft, the same awareness. He has a bunch more experience and I think with our facilities, things would work pretty well with Carlos Sainz. So let's see if we can sign him. Carlos Sainz has not agreed to negotiate with your team for a seat. Driver demands $9 million. It literally says his base salary is $6 million and we're at the end of the season. The buyout shouldn't matter. Well, apparently that's not gonna be possible. Is it gonna be the same? For all of these drivers, Lando Norris? No. Literally every single driver is nine million bucks, except for Nicholas Latifi, and I think that's gonna be a no. How, how does the buyout still matter for your driver salary when it's the end of the season and some of these drivers wouldn't even be under a contract anymore, so there would be no buyout. What type of an absolute joke is that? And unfortunately, I can't even advance the time to go and get more money from my sponsors. If I was able to go a week into this season or into this like future season, I'd have enough money. What an absolute joke. So the only person I can get is goddamn Mick Schumacher. I'm going with the high risk strategy because that's the most stupid thing I've ever seen. Mick Schumacher has declined your offer. If he keeps declining my offer, money will eventually come in from my sponsors. Keep declining me, Mick. Keep declining me. Mick, please decline. Please decline. Damn it! Yo, and that took four million bucks from us, so we're like poor now. Oh. If we advance time over here, oh, would you look at that? 1.23 million from our sponsors. Wow, wouldn't that have been nice to get before? Yo, driver retirement. As expected, Kimi Raikkonen has officially left the sport now. Jeez, Sebastian Vettel is also now retired. Jeez. Oh, Mick Schumacher, it's funny to see you back here again. Ugh. Yo, cash from the sponsors. 13 mil from our primary sponsor. And I think that was, you know, I'm just saying game. I could have gone into the negative for like a week or so while my sponsorship money came in. We were kind of banking on that all along. Anyways, I guess the game drops us back into this screen where we can go in and we can redesign our team. We can change our team name. You know what? After comparing all of these primary sponsor objectives, I'm gonna play it full, full send into our primary sponsor, Indoluf. Earn 100 Constructors Championship points in a season. Obviously last season, we got super, super lucky, but we also are starting off this season with a very, very fast car. Look at that weekly income. Look at that signing bonus. I think it's the obvious choice. Welcome to the squad, Indulivu. Yo, no way. We get a full-on shakeup of the power unit performance as well. Take a look at Honda's performance. We are not gonna do Mercedes dirty. We are gonna be signing back on with them. 3.9 million bucks. Welcome back to the squad. And honestly, nothing else is gonna change. We are gonna be sitting exactly the same way we were. Yo, take a look at the activity timeline for season two, jeez. Let's put some money into our facilities then. Resource point generation. Let's go on the chassis department, powertrain. 
Let's go with that one as well. Quality control, you know what? We might as well. We've got ridiculous amounts of money in the bank. Let's let's keep it there though. Eight million bucks we're gonna save. Let's let's keep that. You know what? Actually, I won't. I'm gonna go and spend this five million bucks on team acclaim, an extra 10% boost. That'll end up paying for itself when we get better sponsors and stuff. So we will go with that as well. 3.8 mil left in the bank now and so many upgrades currently in the work. Anyways, we move over to our R&D tree and we are the fourth fastest car, what? Apparently not all the teams adjusted their upgrades for season two, so some of the teams have dropped out of the standing. But I think the most interesting thing of them all, who is gonna be the second? Ferrari has signed Max Verstappen. What? Esteban Ocon has taken over the Red Bull seat. Pierre Gasly has moved over to Renault. Groja has moved to Alfa Romeo. What? Giovinazzi has moved to Alfa Turi. George Russell has moved over to Haas. Nicholas Latifi also over to Alfa. No way, so Williams is signing two. Formula 2 drivers, Nick Deveres and Jordan King. No way. Definitely not the driver moves I was expecting to see, but geez, what an all-up shakeup for all of the teams in this game. That's crazy. The boys in blue are back for season two. The NCP squad welcomes in a brand new sponsor with a brand new upgrade package. This car should be unstoppable. And with that, I guess we advance a little bit more time. We get some sponsorship money rolling in. We get a bunch more stuff from there and we have arrived in Australia for the first race of the season. Anyways, I guess with all of that stuff out of the way, I will go and hit the circuit in Australia to welcome in season two. I'm gonna go do all the practice and I will rejoin with you guys for qualifying. This day just goes from bad to worse. Like, what an absolute joke. Now the car is broken for the first qualifying. Oh, anyways, moving on. Welcome to Australia for the first race of the season in our newly upgraded NCP car. I have massive expectations for today's race. And, to, and, and our entire season moving forward. Like I've said in the past, we've done mainly performance-based upgrades to our car. We don't really have the tire wear. We don't really have the fuel efficiency. This is almost as fast as this car will go. So although we're the fourth fastest car, I wouldn't be very surprised if we were actually the third or even second fastest car in this game. We've done so many upgrades to this car over the off season and as well last season. We need Mick Schumacher to bring in some points today. We'll see what we got though for our opening lap here in Australia. Get to the line, go! And we go last? Behind Latifi? Well, I think I definitely need to push a little bit more. Mick Schumacher up in P5. That looks amazing to see right there. That is so sick. Meanwhile, um, yeah, I, I, I bottled that one for sure. This right here is where we turn it around. Let's go no talking. We're in P22 and nail this qualifying lap. That is what I call a very solid lap. 2.1 seconds green across the line we go for the NC. P12? P12 is all we could muster up? Mick Schumacher out qualified me by half a second. So Australia for the first race of the season. Let's see where people are with their new teams. Max Verstappen out qualifies his teammate. Charles Leclerc goes P2 in the Ferrari. Lando Norris out qualifies Charles Leclerc. Mick Schumacher doing amazing stuff for us up there. Pierre Gasly now with his hometown crew goes P11. We're in P12. Esteban Ocon drops the ball with the Red Bull car. George 
George Russell for Haas still not where they really need to be and the Williams boys down in last and second last. Alrighty, so race strategy for today, a simple one stop start on the softs until lap 10 and then we jump on the hards. Maybe it was a happy accident siding Mick Schumacher, we'll have to see anyways. Clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the Australian Grand Prix. Welcome to season two. Danny Rick with a super slow getaway there. We're already upside our teammate up the inside as we cut the grass. I will say mowing the grass probably isn't the most legit way of going about an overtake, but up to PA regardless. Sitting behind Carlos Sainz, we got fake yellow flags behind just because Everybody's going a bit slowly, so ignore those as Albon is all over the circuit, nearly snapped his car and caused all of us behind to go and crash into each other. And imagine if I had a good qualifying performance today. How different our life would be right now. Probably P3, Lando Norris is in P4 right now. I know our car is faster than these guys, we've just gotta, we've gotta go. So I would like to make this overtake happen sooner rather than later and then I can fight the big boys up in front of me. Look at that purple through sector one, you love to see it. Anyways, our rival for this season is actually Alexander Albon. So he's up in P5, we've gotta turn up the pace a little bit, we've gotta go. We've got a real Carlos Sainz in. Behind us, we've got a very healthy gap so I won't need to worry about any DRS behind. We've got DRS going onto this straight. Here we go, we've got rich revs, we've got DRS, we've got the slipstream and everything. But it's not enough to go past Carlos Sainz. Jeez, that McLaren is faster than I thought. Please with the DRS. I gotta close in a little bit, 0.4 seconds. Apparently that's not enough. Antonio Giovinazzi is out of the session and that's a safety car. Oh, Gio, Gio, Gio. What team do we even race for anymore, Gio? Uh, we found Gio. Gio apparently now races for Alpha Turi and uh, apparently still blows up just as, just as often as he did before. So now we've got to ask ourselves the question is, what does that do for our pit strategy? In terms of it, probably nothing. We were supposed to go in on lap 10. I don't think it's worth it to try to fight that four or six laps early, actually. Oh, no way. Carlos Sainz, yo, a lot of people are jumping into the pits. No way, what tires are they? No way, I'm up to P4. My teammate went in? What is he doing? What what strategy are they doing? Well, I, I, I mean, I will gladly take it. I'm I'm up to P4, it's, it's not the way I imagined I would get up to P4, but not, not, never a bad thing. So the safety car is going in. We're up to lap number six. We're going into the pits in like four laps or so. We will have to see what happens though. So let's get ready to go racing. Let's see if we can get a nice little overtake in. Line is all the way up there. There it is, green flag, and away we go. What a sneaky move. We pull on Charles Leclerc. He never even saw us coming. Easiest overtake of my goddamn career up to P3 and onto the podium for the NCP team. That is so mad how we can actually battle a Ferrari. I'm up in rich revs right now trying to one, burn off some excess fuel like I've got a I've got a lot of fuel on board. Two, if I could actually keep up with the Mercedes in front of me and they give me a DRS tow down some of the straights, that would be insane. Yo, look at this. I've caught up to Valtteri Bottas and I get DRS and Lewis Hamilton jumps it into the pits along with, that was Charles Leclerc, so they've gone in very, very early for their pit stop here. So I'm up to P2 now and honestly, my tires are not doing that bad, like 30, 40%. I think we can stay out for a couple more laps. Valtteri Bottas agrees with me. He opts to stay out for another lap, as does Esteban Ocon who now actually has DRS on me? What? Well, we'll probably keep this out here for another lap or two, see how our tires are, and then we will jump onto mediums or hards. I don't actually know yet. Oh, and Bottas finally takes the bait into the pits. He goes, and now Esteban Ocon. One lap later, Esteban Ocon is leading the first race of the season. What a joke. I'm actually surprised Esteban Ocon 
in that Red Bull is mega, mega quick. Anyways, I would imagine he's gonna jump in as well. Yep, there we go. So finally, we opt to go into the pits and we will jump on some fresh hards. Correction, we will go on the mediums because that is what Esteban Ocon is doing. Providing their calculations are right, be able to go to the end of the Grand Prix on these tires. We have just put full confidence in Esteban Ocon. Pro probably not my best move I've ever made, but I think it's worth the risk. We dropped down to P15 in this Grand Prix. Oh, and Esteban Ocon comes out of the pits and immediately barrels into the side of Charles Leclerc. He definitely has damage there. I don't know if he's going to be going in, but his front wing slash his side pod definitely damaged. Now, I could hear the crash from all the way back where I was. Yo, what is this train? What the hell is this train right here? That is ridiculous. There are so many people who are currently being held up. There were a couple people right there. That was ridiculous. We're up to P12 now. Anyways, my question is gonna be, where the hell is my teammate in all of this? Here we go. Now we seem like we're close enough. Charles Leclerc, dive bomb, up the inside, wheel to wheel, round there. No contact, but the man pulls out of that one. Lovely move from the NCP squad. Now Lando Norris is going extremely slowly and he dives it into the pits. Jordan King is out of the Grand Prix and safety car has just been deployed. What? What? That's one of the new guys racing for Williams. Thank you for racing. We will see you next time. Anyways, Lando Norris is actually the big winner because he's pitting under a safety car again. Anyways, we're up to P4. No more scheduled pit stops. We're just gonna chill behind the safety car now. Can we get a run? on Esteban Ocon, the same way we did on Charles Leclerc. We're gonna go side by side. There is the green flag. We're wheel to wheel with this man. And heavy, heavy on the brakes. And we take the inside line, happily past the Red Bull. And we're gone, podium position. Esteban Ocon again would be so spooked by an overtake like that. You, you don't expect it. Anyways though, we've got to keep up with these guys. Lewis Hamilton is leading the Grand Prix on the hard compound tires. Hopefully, he holds Bottas up enough for us to keep up with him and keep in that DRS range and tow us along in this Grand Prix. Yo, no way! Fastest lap of the Grand Prix? What? 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 I just went purple as I was following around behind the Mercedes? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep this up. I'm gonna keep going and hopefully soon, I'll be able to either follow off Valtteri. I guess I am already following off Valtteri Bottas. Hopefully I'll be able to go for an overtake soon. Okay, some information on Bottas. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, this is exactly what I need. Look at Bottas. Look at how slow this man is going. Open up the DRS. We've got the slipstream. Swing it to the inside, hard on the brakes, upside the Mercedes, up to P2 in the Grand Prix. That is, that is insane. The NCP car for season two, I'm telling you, is something else out here. We almost go for another purple lap. Lewis is up in front of us, 1.3 seconds. He's on the hard compound tires, 1.2 seconds. We'll see if we can bring that down. I've got two laps only. Yes, DRS, we're good. Bottas, meanwhile, holding everybody up behind. That is ridiculous. And now I can go full force at Hamilton on the final lap. No way, I don't even get DRS on this man through the final section. What? Oh, Lewis was holding something back that whole time going, you can catch me. No, no, no. No, the Mercedes is really fast. What a race though. Bring it home in P2 for the NCP boys. That is what I'm talking about. A podium position, first race of the season. This is going to be such a good year for the NCP boys. Driver of the day, 
Get in there. What a brilliant race from us. On the podium, Lewis takes P1. Big surprise there. And then Esteban Ocon, the man who signs with Red Bull, takes Max Verstappen's seat. Absolutely nailed it. No way, Mick Schumacher was also able to get into the points. Obviously, I would love to see that NCP car even higher up. Like we got we got beaten by Haas, which definitely shouldn't be happening, especially when he started P16. Alex Albon still struggling in that Red Bull and George Russell finally getting up through the grid p13 for him awesome to see in terms of the constructor standings though we are p3 only three points behind ferrari that is crazy with a couple more good races and mick schumacher turning up as well i think we could take those guys down thank you guys so much for watching we will be back soon with race number two i'll see you guys then thanks for watching see you soon with some more f1 bye